Hello there everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing our nighttime routine, solo mommy routine, with three toddlers living full time in an RV. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny, and I am living in an RV with my husband, whose name is also Danny, and our three girls, Madeline, who is five, Kaylee, who is three, and Everly, who is two. And this is our nighttime routine while living in an RV. This routine is starting just after we've had dinner. The girls had a lot of energy to get out. They were cooped up inside today and they just needed to get out and run and play before bedtime. We like to try to get out and do something after dinner just in case they've got a little bit of energy left and it does seem to help them go to bed on the days that we get out and we run out that extra energy. The girls really seem to enjoy this large playground that is at the campsite. It is a Thousand Trails site so if you're interested in checking it out definitely check out this site we are loving it so far it has been absolutely amazing and the site that we're on here is huge and it's beautiful the girls like to run around and play they try to play hide and seek here there's not really a lot of places to hide but they love climbing and there are three pretty good sized slides here so they are going to run around for about an hour before we head back the walk to and from this playground is a little bit far from where our RV is located, but it's not super, super long and it's not super, super short. It's kind of just the perfect length for the girls. And honestly, I think they enjoy walking to and from the playground more than they enjoy playing at the playground. They like to make these fun little obstacle courses out of different things on the campsite. This is one of their favorite spots. They like to run in and out of these little flower pots. Something else that's really been fun this past week is that there are a lot of Halloween things happening on this site. So there's a lot of places where we can stop and check out what they're calling the haunted trail. People have volunteered to set up and decorate different areas of the campsite to be kind of scary or Halloween themed. So they do like to go around and look at all of the different decorations as we're walking back. Now that we are back at the RV, it's time to go inside and keep moving on with our nighttime routine. Tonight wasn't a particularly hot night or humid or anything like that. But before we continue, I do like to make sure that they get some drinks of water just to make sure they're well hydrated and, you know, water is good for your body. Being in an RV definitely has its challenges. There's so many pros and cons to doing this lifestyle. One of them is the tiny tub. I really can't fit all three kids in here and it's a little bit difficult to fit too, but we made it work and all their kids got their baths except for Kaylee who threw a massive fit and I gave up trying, so she didn't get a bath tonight. And of course, no bedtime routine would be complete without reading some books. Now, being in an RV, there's not a lot of space here, but we did manage to squeeze in a lot of books. We made a nice little bookshelf for them, so they have a good selection of books that we do rotate out. The girls will each pick two or three books each. Usually we try to keep it at two, but if they are picking shorter books, I am fine reading three each. It is a lot of books, but they absolutely love reading and just spending that time listening to stories. Earlier in the day, we stopped at the Trading Post, which is the little store here on the site, and the girls picked out these yellow glow sticks. They have been picking out glow sticks almost every day and playing with them every single night, so here we are playing with our glow sticks tonight. I love watching them play with glow sticks because their imagination runs wild. They don't really understand how glow sticks work or why they do what they do, but they use them like magic wands, they use them as night lights, they do all kinds of crazy things with them. And tonight we'll be having a little bit of a dance party with these. As you can see, Everly is completely mind blown by her glow stick. And once we're done with our glow sticks, we are going to have a snack. I don't know about anybody else's children, but if I do not fill my kids up with some sort of snack before bedtime, as soon as they're in bed, they one, have to go potty, and two, they are starving to death and they absolutely will not sleep until they get some sort of snack. So here we are, we're playing with glow sticks, we're having snacks, we're filling up our water bottles, and we're making sure everything is checked off, all the boxes are checked off, before we actually get into bed and go to sleep. 
One last thing we need to do before we go to bed is brush our teeth. These girls love brushing their teeth. They would walk around with their toothbrushes and a bottle of toothpaste all day if I would let them. Sometimes I even have to time them brushing their teeth or we would be in here for hours brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing. I'm not sure why they like it so much, but it's really exciting apparently. After they're done brushing their teeth, they will go ahead and get in bed. And depending on how they did that day and their energy level at night, I may let them watch a TV show or a movie while they're falling asleep. Sometimes it helps them stay in bed and calm down. Other nights, it just kind of adds to the fire. Tonight was one of those nights where it was okay for them to just lay around and watch a movie. They got out enough energy that I knew they'd just lay there and fall asleep if they watched one. Not all nights are like that, but sometimes we can get away with it. Now that the kiddos are in bed, it's time to take care of myself and finish out my night. Since YouTube probably wouldn't approve of me taking a shower and all of that good stuff on camera, here's a video of me brushing my teeth to finish out my routine. I'm also going to be washing my face with these little face wash pads that I got from Arbonne. They're pretty pricey and you can just get generic versions of these at Target or Walmart, which I'll probably do. I was just supporting a friend when I bought these. If I'm not taking a shower that night, I do prefer to use a face cleansing pad versus a soap. It just seems like the soaps dry my skin out more, so this is what I do. But that's going to be it. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go hit the sack and go to bed because these kids are going to be up at the freaking, I don't even know, of dawn and I'll be exhausted. So good night everyone. I hope that you've enjoyed this nighttime routine. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment down below, and I will see you tomorrow for our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye!